As Ontario moves to the uh, next stage of the reopening plan, there are still, of course, a lot of concerns about how businesses will fare and what can be done to attract businesses to the province and get people back to work. Vic Fideli is the uh, Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade. He's with us now. Thanks very much for being with us, Minister. Um, and I actually want to start with the, the reopening plan. Um, and there's, so there's some disappointment that it's only 24 of the 34 regions. The, just the thinking on that, uh, and I guess how long the delay is. We just heard from restaurateur Andrew Oliver. He hopes it's only about a week. Uh, what, what can we say about you know, how, when we may be ready to see the whole province back open? Well, thank you, Amanda. Pretty much the same uh, uh, regional strategy is in place as we did when we rolled out stage two. So we'll continue to look at the numbers from the Chief Medical Officer of Health, from the health table, from the Minister of Health. Uh, and that, uh, as we discussed this through our cabinet, we'll, we'll see a, a, an opening of stage three right across Ontario as soon as it's uh, uh, the proper health uh, time to do it. And in just in terms of how you monitor as you go, uh, businesses obviously want to get back to business. We want, we need consumers to feel comfortable going back into those businesses and interacting. The, how that happens, of course, will go a long way towards how people feel confident. What have you seen so far and how do you track it uh, just in terms of making sure people are all, both employers, employees and customers, comfortable? Well, we uh, continue, all of the cabinet ministers, all of our caucus continues to have uh, uh, interactive discussions with our stakeholders right across Ontario. Uh, we keep in touch with them on a daily basis. Um, we want to know uh, and we want to supply them with the information that they need to go on the Ontario.ca website, look up the Ministry of Labour's guidelines. There's a sector by sector guideline that helps them uh, know how the safest way to open. We put another uh, uh, personal protective equipment website up, Ontario.ca slash PPE, so they know that they have all the PPE they require. They can go on that website to be able to purchase. So we're doing everything we can to make sure that it's the safety and well-being of our families and our businesses as well, and their employees uh, and their customers. You have also announced the Ontario Made program. Uh, just tell us what you intend, what the government intends with this. Well, it's a great and very exciting program that if you're, you know, shopping, uh, walking down the aisle of a hardware store, looking at a couple of different barbecues, you've got choices. There's a, you know, a particular barbecue that's made in Barry, Ontario. So seeing this identity of uh, Ontario made uh, uh, tells you, aha, that's one that if I buy that, I'm supporting my neighbors, uh, my family, my friends, supporting their employment in Ontario. So it's a really great opportunity to educate the cons consumer and show them and give them choice. Tell them this product is Ontario made. And so you'll see that rolled out uh, for several several uh, thousand of the, of the uh, manufacturers across Ontario in the near future. Uh, you can go to Support Ontario Made and see what it's all about, but it's a very, very exciting program uh, that the Premier was very, very proud to uh, announce uh, last week. Does it run a little contrary to our free trading ethos? Uh, you know, we are a member of an important free trade zone, uh, and of course, not to speak of the other Canadian provinces that manufacture goods as well. Uh, this is something that I expect all the provinces would uh, do. It's, through, it's a program of the Canadian manufacturers and exporters. We're supporting that program of theirs. Uh, and we know that it's Ontario made. So it's, uh, it really is an educational program to tell people, look, be proud of all of these products that are uh, Ontario made. And yes, consider supporting them. And obviously, we have yet to see what will happen in terms of job uh, creation and growth. We've seen a little rebound, um, not obviously anything that can tell us that we're out of the woods. What are you planning and doing to try to promote job creation in the next months ahead, which will be critical ones as some businesses, of course, decide they can't make it and others get back to work? Well, first of all, the numbers that we saw last week, uh, 377,000 jobs. Uh, that tells us we're beginning to stabilize here in Ontario. More than 66,000 were in manufacturing, 30,000 in construction. So it's telling us uh, we're stabilizing, we've got a long way to go. One of the ways that the Ontario government is assisting is uh, a brand new uh, investment agency, a one-stop shop, Invest Ontario. Uh, 
uh, and it's going to be a, a real uh, opportunity for us to uh, look at exciting programs, exciting opportunities in advanced manufacturing, life sciences, technology. Uh, it's going to take a private sector approach. We're, we're setting up a, uh, an independent agency with a, a blue chip board uh, and one that we're really looking for targeting investors. It's a, it's a, it's a group that will uh, be out there to, to look for uh, a deal hunting and actually deal closing. That's what really we want to see from them. Hmm. You've also undertaken a capital markets competitiveness review uh, ongoing. What's the latest on that and where do you hope that fits into economic recovery? Yeah, uh, we're looking forward to uh, continuing to review the task, uh, the uh, task force report. Uh, and we know that that's an important part of our economic recovery, Amanda. You know, overall, obviously, we, we're inching our way back to uh, that third phase, which is the full reopening. Big concerns, Minister, about uh, setbacks. Uh, obviously, the border is one key issue. We watch the U.S. with concern. And then as we reopen, uh, the concern of second wave as we head towards the fall. What, what are, kind of are the real-time responses that the government can offer up? Uh, in the absence still of real uh, of tracking data, we don't have a tracking app yet that would give our contact tracing that would give people some reassurance? Well, we'll continue to look at the daily numbers, yes, but we've had a lot of uh, learnings since this first happened in March. So we've got four months experience uh, under our belt now. We've got uh, constant contact with our uh, uh, health table, our chief medical officer of health, with all the uh, industry sectors. I think the premier has been very loud and clear that uh, nobody is any hurry, in any hurry to see that uh, border reopen on the uh, 21st of July. Hmm. Um, so uh, I, I think using that uh, four months of history that we now have will be able to guide us uh, for the future. All right, Minister, it's great to have your time today. Appreciate it. Vic Fidelli is Ontario's Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade.